Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'll be showing you how to find all 12 with the super chests in Jedi Survivor. These chests contain entire lightsabers, blasters, and outfits compared to standard chests that only reward a single component. So let's jump right in so that you can up Cal's fashion game. So our first chest is pretty tough to miss. It's inside of Pyloon's saloon. When you first talk to Grease down in the basement. My old scrapper outfit. Why did Grease keep this? I know. Creepy. Chest number two is in the Untamed Downs. You're gonna want to grab some mind droids. Walk them over to this cave. Some of them may explode on your way over there. You only need one to make it. Just keep on walking through the cave system. You may want to walk in there prior to bringing the roller mines there as they might accidentally trigger the mine. So it's up to you if you can avoid them, but otherwise just toss it into that wall. Make your way over to the chest. And that will net you the Centauri Kree lightsaber. So our next chest is in Fort Collin, and while it's quite simple to get there, the means of actually being able to open the chest is a little more difficult, as we'll be fighting the spawn of Ogdo. Feel free to fight it on whatever difficulty you feel necessary, as it's quite a challenging fight regardless. Once you've taken care of that, you'll just be able to walk to the back of the room, and you will be rewarded with Cal's classic poncho. Our next chest is going to be in the winding ravine. You just need to have animal taming unlocked and you'll jump on the large creature's tusk. which will lead you into the ravine itself. Just keep following the path and then take the right path at the fork. Got to do a little bit of platforming here, so a couple wall runs, and then force grab this rope. Swing around the left. You can kill this Garaka if you like to, or you can just avoid it. Take the Relter over to the other side here, and you're at the chest. Next up, we're gonna head to the Hunter's Quarry. There is a puzzle we're gonna have to complete and you're going to need the force lift ability to get in here first of all. So just head through the tunnel, drop down, and you'll notice the Kobo matter on the ground. Just do some platforming over to here and pull this orb out of the receptacle and just toss it over to the other end of the room. We're going to throw it into this receptacle. And that is going to cast a beam that breaks open that previously blocked doorway. It's going to land on one of the houses in the town, which you can then start spraying Kobo matter over to this blocked off entryway into a house and it's going to get a little explosive kind of insane that they put this into the game and Cal just soaks up that blast but that will give us access to our next chest Hey, if you're getting value out of this video and want to see more high quality guides, consider subscribing. It helps me get closer to 1k subs to monetize the channel so that I can invest more resources into creating great content for you. So for this one, we're just back in the town. You need BD's Electro Dart unlocked to do this, but you also need to have helped the Jawas in the bygone settlement to even have access to shoot that Electro Dart. Once you've done that, you'll be able to open the chest. If you're looking for a guide on how to help the Jawas, check out my Priorite Shard guide and look at Shard 54 for how to actually reach them and help them out. 
All right, so for our remaining chest, we're going to be on Jetta. So just head out from where the archive is to the person who can sell you lightsaber upgrades. Take the lift up, go forwards, and then just head through the door to the right. You'll see a speeder in here. And then actually in the back corner, there is a chest. Next, we're going to head to the Trailhead Pantheon. This is during the mission where you are with Marin and you acquire the jump dash ability. So you'll see these two Imperial Troopers. And instead of going through that path, I'm just going to go up the staircase and then do a quick wall run over here to the chest. The next chest is located on the path of persistence. So you'll just take the zip line across and instead of going to the left where you usually start the puzzle, you can grapple over to this side and then grapple to the balloon there. And around this corner is another chest. This chest is located at the monastery wall. So this area is accessed to the left of where you first ever land on Jetta. So you will need the midair dash ability in order to Lucky, make it to that well spot. Preserved. Just make your way up here to this long bridge. Keep jumping across and right at the end we'll find our next chest second last chest here is the wayfinders tomb so in order to actually access this you will need to have completed the path of restoration conviction and persistence all of which unlock perk slots and if you have not completed those yet you can check out my perk slot guide which has solutions to all three of those puzzles which will then give you access to this area so our final chest is on jetta and it is right where the mantis lands now you do have to be at a certain point in the story in order for this chest to appear i recommend if you are not done the game or reasonably far into it probably don't want to look at what this item is but otherwise that is our final chest if you enjoyed the video drop a like and let me know what you'd like to see a guide on next in the comments if you're looking for a guide to find all 100 priorite shards for the splurgle achievement make sure to check out this video next see you in the next one peace